What's up everyone, it's Yoichi here and we're back with some more Happy Home Paradise. And we're gonna be designing for this goat ram villager. I don't know what her name is. I think it's a she. She wants some place that's warm, so let's try to find out exactly what she wants. Hi there, I'm uh, what, how do I say this? Eunice? I don't, I don't know, I'm not sure really how to say that name, I'm gonna be honest. You design vacation homes, right? Lately I've been dreaming about finding a vacation home of my own. Maybe you can help with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get you in the office. By office, I mean this outdoor dining. <laughs> By office, I mean this outdoor dining table where Lottie says the same scripted retail lines over and over. Thanks for your time, Lamb Chop. I think I'd like for my vacation home to look something like this. So she wants someplace warm. Cozy winter cabin. Okay, is that some soup, some arts and crafts, and a, uh, like, old metal, old-fashioned metal stove fireplace thing? Alright, well, that's kind of, that's kind of basic. Oh, that's very nice. I, I really like your concept. Alright, okay, yeah, wait a minute. You know what? She wants someplace warm, but she's, it's a winter cabin, so we gotta put her someplace cold, right? Let's see... We gotta put her someplace cold. I'm thinking... One of these. Thinking one of these. Okay, not this cold. Let's, let's not do this to her. Wait a minute, is this the same as... This is like the same exact thing as this rock house except on the ice. We need to get some penguins or something for these. I don't know, goats, they, they, they like elevation, right? Maybe, uh, I don't know, this is, this is an interesting one. I just, I don't know, what, what, what do you think she would actually have for yard decorations? I mean, I guess we'll find out soon, but. Let's, um, let's just go with this. This looks very cabin-y. Oh, seems like a lovely spot. I can't wait to see it in person. All right, let's get, let's, let's get this show on the road. I'm not sure. She just wants a cozy winter cabin, so we'll see what we have to work with. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the last two villagers have been... They were a little basic. I mean, the seaside was kind of interesting, but... I don't know. I feel like, uh... I need to do something uh, extravagant soon. So this is where I'll be vacationing, huh? It's like a dream come true. I can't wait to see the finished home. Well, I'll leave it to you. All right, let's see. What do we have to work with here? Moroccan, isn't this more of like desert though? Moroccan furniture, aren't they like warmer client climate? I don't know much about Morocco, but Log bed. Okay, we're definitely gonna go for... What is this, a sauna heater? Okay, well, I have no idea what to do with the outside, though. I think we're gonna go with the log cabin, but... I have no idea what to do with the outside. All I know is that... For sure, we're gonna make this a log cabin. Which one is the log cabin? I gotta try to find out which one is the log cabin. Um, I think it's one of the bigger ones. Okay, yeah, it's this one. She is blue. I don't know, what type of wood is there? The dark wood is in the background, right? So... And then for the roof... Well, you can't even, you can barely even see the roof in the... Because the snow is going to be on the roof, but... The snow is going to be on the roof. Okay, I'm going to work with this... I'm going to work with this lawn for a little bit, and then we'll be back. Alright, we went a little bit basic here on the outside. I mean, I know I'm always saying everything is basic. I know I, I never give myself enough credit, but... No, I really do think this is kind of basic. She doesn't really have that much outside decorations, furniture that she wants. She mostly just wants a cozy interior. 
So I just decided to go with decorated uh, trees, you know, trees with Christmas lights or whatever. And just a little bit of bushes, some frozen fencing, because I think these are pretty cool and you know, you wouldn't want to fall off this cliff, now would you? And then some lilies over there, so it's just, you know, uh, I want to keep it, ca it is a cabin, technically, so you know, cabins, usually a lot of trees, forests, I don't know. I felt like this was kind of good, just to keep it more natural. Now, let's try to do her outfit before I forget what well, it's on my mind, because... I forget into, uh, I forgot to do the villagers' outfits a few times now. Let's definitely give her something. She looks like she needs something a little bit warmer. Okay, uh, all of the villagers that have bigger bodies, the clothes look so awkward on them. Oh, that's kind of cute. Let's see. Does she got any? Uh, is there no hats she could wear? What does she have on default of this? I mean, the holidays are coming up, so... I think this is nice. Give her a little snowflake sweater. And I guess she can't get any hats. Well, she can get hats, but I don't see any really winter hats that we have. I mean, that looks kind of good on her, but... What do glasses look like on her? Sheep's got such a... Like I said, sheep's have such a big, uh, a big frame. Okay, I think that's good. So we're mostly gonna... Oh, and then I got a new I got a new door decoration. I got this paw print thing, which is really, really cute. Another thing that I wish I had for my own island. So we're gonna have to make her... You know, it's gonna be a cozy cabin. She wants it to be warm. So let's see, what is it that she wants? She wants um, some sewing, which is whatever, but... And then she wants a soup can. I just, sometimes I feel like, okay, they give us a theme, and I know there's probably some themes that are kind of repeating because there's so many villagers, but so they don't want to give them all the same items to work with. But sometimes I feel like the theme and then what the items they give you to work with is just kind of. It's not that the items don't go with the theme. It's just sometimes I feel like they go too loosely with the theme, and I would prefer better items. Like the sewing kit. I mean, it's the the theme is warm cabin, and then sewing kit. I know that is kind of like cozy, but I don't know. I just wish it would be uh, something something else. Should we go for the cabin wall? I think we should. I've been waiting to use that cabin wall. Cabin wall with I think the dark block flooring. Probably gonna make this place kind of big too. Kind of big, I think we're gonna make, you know, obviously gotta get some fireplaces going. I mean, the wood burning stove is required. And I don't know, we'll just see. We'll, oh, rocking chairs, those always gotta be in winter cabins, right? We'll see, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good, I think. I, I like this theme, honestly, I like winter cabins. I live somewhere where there is no winter, but Hopefully one day I'll get to experience winter, like like this, uh, what's her name? I don't know, she had a weird name, but like her. Like a goat in the forest in a cozy cabin. Okay, right now things are a little bit of a mess in here. I'm having trouble deciding on the exact direction to go. I'm thinking about getting out the wall partitioners, but I don't know. They always never look as nice as I want them to, but... Uh, right now I have the largest room size. I, I don't know. I'm having struggling going with uh, struggling with what direction to go in. I got. I uh, want to put it in a kitchen. I think we got to get a fireplace. I, I don't know. It's a little bit of a struggle right now. I'm gonna have to see what I could come up with. Uh, I don't know. The wall partitioners. I like the idea, but they should have made them a little bit better because they never. They never come out as flush as you want, and there's also no doors in this game, but anyway. I'll, I'll see what I could do. We're, I'll continue working on this. 
and we'll see what the final product looks like. Alright, well I think I'm about done here. I decided to do something a little bit new that I haven't done yet. Well, I have used the wall partitioners and done multiple rooms, so it's not completely true, but... I haven't really done it, used the wall partitioners exactly this way before. What I did is I used them as kind of, yes, multiple rooms, but before the other builds that I've used them in, I've always kind of like closed them off and only left a small opening, but this time I only decided to use them sparingly to make tiny rooms. Yes, it's going to open concept rooms, but since the wall partitioners don't align properly a lot of the time as well as there not being any doors it kind of makes it as you've probably seen some of my other designs sometimes the wall partitioners can look kind of awkward so i decided to try a new style with them just you know dividing them dividing these like making these little tiny square rooms by only using one and honestly i kind of like this better than i've been using them i'm not gonna lie I think this is how they may have de made, like designed them to be used. I know it's kind of dumb, but they don't have doors yet, so... And this was a later addition. So it is one of the things I hope they do in the next game, is make the wall partitioners better, and doors, and... But also maybe like a first person mode for inside the house. These are just things I want them to add in future games, but... I honestly think this is the way they designed the wall partitioners to be used, so... I don't know, it's um, it's new for me, but I don't know, I think this looks a lot less awkward. I really do, but let me go over the build a little bit, or the design, whichever one you prefer to call it. I don't know if it's build, design. I'm used to other games like RPGs or whatever saying build, but I guess this is a design, so... We decided to go with the uh, Japanese style sitting table. So we did that. I mean, that's cozy. You stand in this like warm blanket. I don't know what it's called in Japanese. I know there's a word for this type of table, but we got that going on. We got a little uh, traditional fishing pot hearse thing right next to a fireplace with another deer wall decoration. You know, I love that deer decoration. We got an antique radio there, um, some wood. So this is the little mini kitchen. There's this giant soup pot that she wanted. We got another soup pot going. So here's a tiny kitchen. Um, here's a tiny bedroom. This is another piece that was required. This little uh, old metal stove oven and then her bed. So, and then we got a little red rug in there, which was one of her preferred items. And then we got a little bathroom, just a tiny little bathroom, a sauna heater in here. Just a tiny little bathroom. Honestly, this is probably... We got a cuckoo clock, and then we got some books. I mean, I feel like maybe... The only thing I don't like about this build is... I don't know, I feel like the spacing is a little bit awkward, but I, I feel like the spacing is always awkward when you use wall partitioners, that things are just not gonna... I just, I think you just gotta live... If you wanna use wall partitioners, I think you just have to come to the fact that they're never gonna look perfect since there's not like doors and stuff like i don't know it's never gonna look i guess you can't expect it to look like real houses in real life because of this so you just kind of got to work with it you know the wall partitioners this is a new mechanic they just added so but um so that is kind of one of the sacrifices you have to make when you use them i mean i think they're really cool and it makes things not get so monotonous when you're designing but could make other things look a little weird with the spacing. But I don't know, I think this is actually one of my favorite builds. I feel like I could have done more with the decorations. Maybe it's a little bit empty. You know, I just like put some bookshelves over here, but I feel like we have already kind of done so many builds where I filled it with cool decorations. I just kind of want to make this fit the theme a little bit better. And I think it came out really, really, really good. I think it's one of my favorite builds so far. I haven't got to do really a winter winter build yet, so I really like how this turned out though, you know. These these little uh these little wall things, I forget what they're called, but whatever this is, whatever this is called, this is a really uh this is kind of a neat item. I think I'm gonna use this more in the future, do this kind of style. Uh I do know some spoilers that later on you can uh Later on, you can give the villagers roommates or partners, I don't know, but 
So I, I guess I'll get to that eventually. So I, I, I don't know, but and I know I keep saying I don't know, but <laughs> I, I'm rambling a bit basically. I just think that this is uh, this is pretty good. All right, I snapped the photo real quick because I remember it. It's a little bit easier to snap photos when they're in decorating mode. So um, yeah, I just did that, and now we're gonna turn it in. Unless I'm forgetting any- am I forgetting anything? We did clothes, exterior, interior, wall, uh, wall decorations, ceiling lights, I think we got everything. I say that and then as soon as I get done with the build it's gonna be something else that I forgot. It's ready! Alright, let's see. Hold up a sec. Wait, what's going on, Nico? What's going on? What do you want from me? I didn't even dress for this occasion. I should have put on a jacket. I'm out here with a short sleeve. Sorry, just need a moment for a quick supervisor to design or consult, if you don't mind. One more amazing vacation home for the islands to sing about, but before we wrap it up, you got a second? So you remember how to make furniture sparkle, right? Well then, well, when I told Waddle that I told you about it, he told me a cool thing then told me to tell you. So when you're getting ready to polish, you can make different effects besides sparkling. Oh, really? See, I was criticizing this earlier that I wanted more effects than just, like, the basic blue sparkles. Start by press. I, I don't understand. Why is this something that you unlock later on? That sounds completely fascinating. I'd be interested to see how it works if you feel like demonstrating. Okay, what can we shine up in our place? Change the effects. Now you can change the effect applied to an item. Okay, let's just, uh, we'll co I'm thinking this, uh... So, we'll go with the, uh... Okay, what, oh, oops, wrong, wrong button. It's the plus button, I thought it was the D-pad. Oh, okay. S um, steam shine, sap, stress buzz, Bubble shock. Okay, this is pretty cool. Space blip, dizzy spin. Um, do I have to do it again? Oh, okay, so this is pretty cool. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go in the bathroom and I'm gonna put a- like, I know there's already steam, but... We're gonna make it super steamy. Oh, oops. And let's do the space heater too. Okay, please, game. Oh! Is it gonna- No, let me- Uh, okay. What- what- Am I literally gonna have to move this for a second? Oh, no. Okay, let's uh, let's just move this out of the way for a second here. Now the now those bathroom things are super steamy. All right, I I think that's pretty cool. The different uh. I'm gonna have to experiment with that. I mean, what are the different options? Oh, I have an idea. Let's, uh... So we got steam. What is this? Burr? Is that for cold? Oh, I think... Okay. So that's for cold. Okay, why, why do I keep pressing? I keep pressing the, uh, the shine button and the stress buzz, zap, dizzy, hearts, drip drop. What is this? Gloom? I mean, this is, um, I like this. Let's put some hearts. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna make the, uh, <laughs> the little dog stuffy have hearts. Okay, before we turn this in, wait, I want to see if we could do something cool outside. Let's go with the burr, the cold one. 
Okay, I have an idea. I'm not sure how this is gonna look, but let's uh, let's test it out. Okay, can you can you move out of the way? Oh, you can't put shining outside. What I was gonna do is I was gonna put it on the ice railway, but it doesn't let me use it outside. You can only use it inside, I guess. Okay, well, that's all right. I um, I think this is good though. So now we have more different variations of the uh, shine thing. Yeah, it's uh, it's ready. Oh, how lovely! Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the time and effort you put into this. You made me so happy. All right, well, let's see how she really likes it. I kind of do wish you would get a, can get a rating for this and they could say they don't like it, but I understand why they didn't do that. Cozy Winter Cabin. Oh, let me be ready to take a picture if anything good comes up. I mean, I really do like this design. I think this design came out really, really good. It's one of my favorite designs so far. I'm so in love with my new vacation home, I can't stop admiring it. Feel free to hang out and relax a bit. No. Uh, I'm very, very busy. What I've been doing is just taking, trying to take the picture in the editing mode like I was saying, so then I don't have to take the picture after. Welcome back. Alright then, so now we get 12,000 since our promotion last time. Finished for today? Oh wait, I didn't... Anyway... That's it for today's video. I, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was one of my favorite designs, a nice little winter cabin. Nice little winter cabin in a snowy area. I think it turned out really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.